Hi, Yarn of Bees. How are you today? It's cold here. It's cold. It's the snow won't go away. You know, we don't normally get a lot of snow here, but when we do, it's stupid. <laughs> it's like, it's just stupid. I'm stuck at home because I can't drive in the snow. So, yeah. So what, what else can we do? Crochet, right? Right. Okay, so this episode is the hashtag MYC223. I think I got that right. That is being done by Lori from the Armchair Chef. Um, I participated this month. <clears throat> I guess it was for last last month. It was, no, it was this month. <laughs> Holy cow, I got too many things going on, you guys. I think I broke my brain. <laughs> so anyway, um, I had a box sent to me by Michelle. Uh, I will leave her channel down below. And uh, I was a little concerned when I opened it up thinking, oh, this is all thinner yarn. But I prevailed and I got things done. So I I can't say that I'm not happy about the way all this stuff turned out. And I actually got done more than I thought I was going to. Um, but yeah, so let's get into it. First off, this. This is one of my patterns. Uh, I didn't put sleeves on it. In the tutorial that I've got, there's sleeves, but I didn't have enough yarn to do that. Um, I may, I've, I've got enough of the white, so I might still do it. I don't know yet. Um, this was done with, she sent me, uh, what is it? Um, Darn Good Yarn Silk Roving Worsted Weight Ocean Light. Okay. This is what it looks like. Can I say this stuff smells fabulous? I don't know what it is. I don't know what they put in their yarn, but oh my God, this was such a pleasure to work with. I've never had darn good yarn before, and I don't know if all of their yarn smells like this, but wow, like I... I, I just, I don't even know. Um, I'm just reading the thing here. It doesn't say anything about them putting any kind of a smell into it. It just, oh, I, I just can't even describe the smell. Um, anybody that's had darn good yarn before that has had, had their yarn smell like this, it's like florally. I, I can't even believe it. Um, I thought maybe Michelle put something in the box, but none of the other yarn smelled like this. So I was just like, oh my God, because I got <laughs> these yarns and there's some on the other side, um, that I got from Hirschner's. Now I've never had a problem with Hirschner's before, but this, um, serenity chunky yarn this year or this last year i don't know what it is but it's got a bad smell to it um like all of it not just a bag it, it's just i don't know what happened but it's got this awful awful smell to it so i'm working with it but once i wash it then it's fine but oh my god so after working with a whole bunch of this to go to this oh so nice <laughs> so anyways i mixed this with some loops and threads eco brights that i had in my stash they don't make this anymore it's so sad um they may have come out with something similar they keep coming out with the eco brand um but they haven't come out with this i don't think uh, I, I love this stuff, but I'll tell you something. When you put this in a project, it makes it really heavy, even though it's cotton. Well, a lot of cotton can be heavy too, 
but it's nice so and it's soft um so i although these are not my colors these are not my colors at all i think this looks very spring like very eastery eastery is that a word <laughs> Um, so I think I may end up putting sleeves on it. I don't know yet. I love it. I think it's great. So if you are interested in this tutorial, I, I will, um, leave a, whoop, doo -doo, which side is it? This side, this side, this side. Anyways, I'll leave <clears throat> the link to my playlist for my tutorials. I have a whole playlist with tutorials in it down below. So go check that out. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> so there we go. Oh. oh, sorry, I have to put my other yarn away before I forget. Okay, the next thing that she sent me was this Karen Skinny Cake. Okay, I work with this Karen Chunky Cakes, but I don't normally work with the Karen Skinny Cakes because it's fine, <clears throat> it's a light three. So I decided to mix it. And I mixed it with, what did I mix it with? I think it was Bernat Premium Black. And I made a dog sweater. So this dog sweater has a button on it. So it just goes over, it's a little turtleneck. And then I've got the band, belly band that goes around and I have a, whoops, a beautiful button that has oop, owls on it. And so there you have, it. and then this is for the leash up on the top of the neck. Oop, there we go. So yeah. So I will leave a picture here of Bailey wearing it. She hates wearing clothes, so she doesn't look very happy um, because she's not, <laughs> to be completely honest. She hates wearing clothes. <clears throat> Excuse me, there was a bit of an incident when uh, I got her, um, she was two years old when I got her. And I made a dog sweater for her and I made it in acrylic and we went up the mountain to go get a Christmas tree because at that time we used to cut our own Christmas trees. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the acrylic absorbed the water because she was in snow that was way up on her. And she decided to go running in the snow and because of her color, we couldn't see her and the the sweater that she had on was beige and white so anyways the acrylic stretched and she couldn't get her arms out like her arms ended up going into the sweater and she was like a seal trying to get through the snow and i couldn't see her and i was oh it was it was a thing um we found her and she was just terrified. Uh, I never from that point on put any clothes on her ever again because she freaks. She hates it. She just goes stiff. She doesn't move. So yeah, I think that traumatized her. It traumatized me because um, she was down a little embankment and uh, if she hadn't have like got herself up the hill, um, we probably wouldn't have found her. And I just, it scared me beyond, beyond. So yeah, so she doesn't wear clothes. But anyway, <clears throat> this is great if you're just taking her, taking the dog for walks um, on the sidewalk or whatever. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> that was a bit too much for us. So yeah, so I made a dog sweater. It looks adorable on her. Uh, but yeah, she, she won't wear it. So I, uh, I may give this away or something. Um, so there's that. Uh, okay. The next thing, uh, Michelle gave me three cakes, three small cakes of 
a bobbin yarn. I love this yarn. Um, it's so soft. It's but it's it's kind of oops, hang on. It's a little splitty because it's not um, it's not wound right. So it's kind of oops, where are you? It's kind of splitty like that. But that's okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I wasn't sure what I was going to do with this. And I was running out of time. So I thought, hey, why don't we try it on the Addy machine? So I got George to get involved. And I said, okay, let's try a scarf. Because we haven't made a scarf on the Addy machine before. So he used two of these cakes for the scarf. This cake is going to end up being a hat on the Addy, uh, but we haven't, George is working a lot right now and I don't use the Addy machine that much. It's George's thing right now. <laughs> so um, he's gonna make a hat. When he does do that, I will show it to you. <clears throat> but this scarf, oh, I love this scarf. <sighs> This scarf is a, amazing. And I put pom-poms on it. These are the snap-on pom-poms. Um, I love this. It's, it's two-toned. This scarf is so soft. It is so stinking soft. I just, I can't even tell you. Um, but it's, I just, I love it. Uh, I can't wait for the hat to be made. <clears throat> um, it worked up beautifully, beautifully on the Addy machine. We had no problems at all with it splitting or um, snagging or, you know, missing stitches or anything like that. It worked up wonderfully so um <clears throat> excuse me guys <clears throat> um i absolutely love this love it so when um and even the transition is beautiful like it's just oh, love it um so this is going to be a beautiful set when I get the hat, when he gets the hat done. And uh, yeah, whether or not I'm gonna put that on my Etsy or if I'm just gonna wait until next year to sell it uh, at my craft fairs, I don't know yet. So, but yeah, so I, I've got this much left and this much left on those and <clears throat> that little bit left uh, for the darn good yarn. This is going to, um, George is going to make more hats out of this on the Addy machine and, uh, and use it up. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I had a great time with this. Um, and it, uh, really took me outside my comfort zone a little bit, but I'm glad I did it. And thank you so much, Lori. And thank you so much, Michelle, for giving me the opportunity to do this with you. Um, and uh, that's it. I guess I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for joining me. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.